Thanks for checking out Symphony on YouTube. Please be sure to subscribe and like our videos for updates. Well, um, brother, welcome, however belated. And uh, I'm not one of those who was very, who have been very enthusiastic about it by the time it was done. And I know the man who did this, uh, it's not in the spirit you wanted that should be done. He just did it to catch a, well, to, to more or less pacify those who have been struggling for it. To pacify people that have struggled for it? You mean it didn't, yeah, it didn't mean anything to Nigeria that yeah, June 12th yeah. has been declared? No, it, the man who did it, I'm talking about the man who did it. I mean, whether, you know, when we are struggling for a thing and it is achieved by somebody who says, oh, yeah, this is what we have been fighting for. But somebody who says, you say you want it, that's why you have it. Because what has happened after declaring it? Uh, a public holiday recognizing him. We, we call it a democracy day. Are we democratic? Are we been living in a democratic society? Has the hope for that day been achieved? When you say you are, you are celebrating democracy day and the, and the policemen are in the street to chase people for, 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 for demonstration. One of the elements of democracy is free speech, free association. The right to demonstrate. This one is lacking. And the man who, whose regime has been, has been dominated with uh, lack of, be of obedience to court orders, no rule of law. So, when people like me who fought for it and who, who knew the origin of the democracy that we fought for, we just take it for what can we do? Let's just, just thank him for him saying he, he, he recognizes the yearnings of the people. Mm. Uh, all right, Chief. Uh, uh, let, let me get you clearly. Are, are you saying that um, when you reflect on how the country is at the moment, that um, the struggle which you were part of, do you think it has paid off for, your, for you as a person and for not at others all. Not at, who were in the not struggle at with all. you? Not at all, not at all. You can see the way I'm talking about this president. I'm just saying, well, to those who didn't know this, what the struggle was about, they felt satisfied. They were jumping, celebrating. Even those who, who could do everything to form the government and doing the opposite thing of what they promised, say, oh, yes, they have done it. I see that is all. I see that is the essence. He did it in the world, not in spirit, not in action. All the actions, all the, de all the deeds of his administration has been anti-democracy. And that is known to you people too. Okay. Is it democratic? Is it democratic? You know how many times you have been fined for expressing your view on the IT and public has to come to your grave? And now all the press, both print and the uh, uh, electronic, you censor yourself because you don't know what what time we call a speech. A, a speech. That is not democracy. We are not free. We are under a dictatorship. All right. Dictatorship. Pa Debo and Joe, uh, do, does it mean that it, there was no lesson learned from the June 12, 1993 election and the struggle that came after it? Is it that Nigeria has not learned any lesson at all, or have we learned a bit? The people have been ruling us ever since, particularly since 2015. It, it, it has been cause for, oh, well, uh, well, it has been cause for mourning. Is it, is it all that we fought for? Is it all that I was detained for? Is it all I went into prison for? So, to so those of you who were born or who experienced military regime, you will be jumping at the oh, yes, as a measure of something. For those of us who knew what we had before independence and during independence and before this regime, 
Only, we only go to the corner and cry. To me now, we only have to pray to God. We are in the hands of God. Only God can save us. Mm. To go into the heart of Buhari, to, to give us peace in our own time. You can you imagine the president of the country being in a combative motion, combative mood against the subject instead of reconciling? Why are you crying? Why are you demonstrating? Why do you, why are you do this violence? What is the problem? So if you do that, I, 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 I show you Pepe. That's the father of the nation. Who doesn't call his children and say, come, 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 what is your problem? It's unfortunate. Pa, the by the, of God. Uh, you do that, I show you Pepe, that the president um, is credited to have said. Um, he was actually referring to those he called people who are perpetrating trouble, not Nigerians who, who do not make a problem, don't you think? No, no, he was referring to what is happening in the South. He's not, not, you see, don't deceive us. I mean, he can deceive others, not me. Not me. Those who are even demonstrating or even destroying government property in the Southeast, why? You are talking of the action, of the reaction. You are not talking of the action that causes the reaction. They are bitters. They, 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 they feel excluded. They feel they are not getting what they should get from their father. And it's a way of demonstrating their, their bitterness. He knows it, and you and I know. Don't let everybody pretend. If you say he does everything, all right. What about the question of the southern governors? Say, uh, open grazing is banned. And he now openly did, openly said that he's passing a law to contradict that. Because that was not the same culture of his own, of his full and ethnic group. Is that, the pres is that the language of the president of the country? If it's not the president of Fulani or the president of the North or the president of Kasina? Is that the president of Yoruba, Igbo, and Hausa and uh, everybody? That is the basis on which he was elected. Is that the language of father and son? If the father knows that the son is angry, is annoying. Even the prodigal son who spent all sorts of things. By the time he, 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 he repented and came home, the father welcomed me. Is that what the boy is doing? I have said it, unfortunately. President Buhari is the number one enemy of Nigerian unity. And we should all pray for God, to God, to kindly change his mind, to, to, to go into his heart, to be more human, to be more human, to show mercy to his subject. If you see the way the policemen were attacking the demonstrator, I wish the army was as aggressive against the Boko Haram. Not against the subjects you have to protect. Not the against the subjects you have to, to be kind to, to protect love and property. Yes, I mean, to many of you, independent day of democracy, they can mean everything. Not to me. And I know what I fought for. But I suffered for. Even at the time when Buhari there was in the primary school. So he cannot, when he talk of the United Nigeria, I have a stake in the United Nigeria than, than, than himself. And what he's doing is making me unhappy because all my friends in the North, all the Fulanis who are friends, who are the, the, the Gauthier and others, who are uh, uh, improving the economy of the country, he tried to change the narrative of our complaint. We are talking of Fulani as men who are raping our women, who are murdering, who are, who, who are kidnapping. Let them go. You liken that to uh, uh, fair party, fair party sellers. How, how, does, how, how, does it, how does it come to? Mm. The fair party sellers, did they rape? Did they kill? Do they destroy farms? You now want a private enterprise to dominate other private enterprises because that is your business. 
We all know Pebuani has 500 cows. You have to protect it, not at the expense of your subject, not at the expense of other ethnic groups that don't have that culture. That is why if we talk in a federation of multi-ethnic, multicultural, multi-religious, we have a federation so that we can develop at our own space. So if you, pray, if you pray to God, if you call on a religious organization, Pastor Depo is the old bishop and the imams, to pray to God, to, to, to go into the heart of Buhari, to please look unto us with mercy, and not this aggressiveness. Mm. Uh, not, uh, this, not, not this impunity with which is ruling us. Mm. Uh, Chief, you've talked about the insecurity in the land. You've referred to, you know, the killer hurt man committing atrocities in different parts of the country, and, and you've blamed the president. I don't know whether you listened to the president last week and even in his Democracy Day speech. He, he acknowledged these challenges himself. Even his home state, Katsina, is unlivable. The governor of that state has come out to say uh, the, the level of insecurity in that state has gotten to a level they've never seen uh, before. There's been people who have been displaced from their homes and living in IDP camps. So the president himself is affected by the crisis facing the nation. And he has expressed that in his Democracy Day speech and in the interviews he granted last week. Does not that show that the man himself is concerned about what's happening across the country? Uh, yeah, that was the Democracy Day. What did he do before then? When he was negotiating with bandits. So when he was negotiating, when, when Gumi could see the bandits to get to 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 get how much ransom to pay. Mm. No, the but president the, the president wasn't the, negotiating on, with Gandhi. bandits. Hold on, hold on, Mr. Mr. You said you are letting me say my own. Go ahead, sir. <laughs> you are saying what he has said now mm -hmm. after the harm has been done. How many people have been killed in the north and in the north places before he talked? Was it how many people have died in uh, in um, um, in Casina, in the place where children have been abducted? What 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 did he do? It was, it, it, it was so bad. The example was doing was so bad that even his own state. Because the governor was complaining. It shows his incompetence. It shows his lack of strategy. And when we said it's the Fulani people, he said, no, why do you say Fulani? He said the Fulani from, uh, from the north. OK, to me, that is not serious. Those are foreign people coming to our land. How did they come in? You are the president in charge of the same land and property. How did they come in? You are in charge of immigration. You are in charge of customs. And these people came in, do our work to your subject. Is it because they are foreigners, that's why you can't arrest them? Is it because they are foreigners, that's why you can't say anybody carrying arms to a, to a husband is criminal? Can you tell me what, when has, what they have said to, to, to tell the husband carrying arms that it is illegal? What has he said against them generally before he was talking on the, 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 on the uh, democracy day? You are all citizens of this country. Even on autumn of, uh, of, of Bakodi, went to him that he knows the people who are molesting him, who are killing him. They are amazing. Like, Here are you. Please come and help me. What did he tell you? He said, go and make friends with your neighbors. With your killers, with your murderers. My dear, let us let us all be serious and tell Mr. President that we know he knows our problem, he should help us to solve it. This propaganda, this all sort of um, saying things that are not real. You should stop it. Pardebanjo, uh, you seem to be pointing accusing finger uh, at the president alone. But we have a, a federal government, we have federating units, we've got the governors as well. Uh, it appears as if the government at the subnational level are 
just like crying babies. Now, we, we heard the governor of Zamfara State uh, almost weeping yesterday w during his um, broadcast uh, on, on the Democracy Day, uh, where he said that despite the peace effort that is being made uh, in Zamfara, the people, uh, about 45 people were killed on Friday, just a day to Democracy Day. And also we had... Um, uh, other governors also crying. Uh, in fact, one paper captured it today saying governors are wailing over insecurity problem. Are they kind of handicapped as to what to do to secure their very region much, or their state? Very much. Yes, sir. If, you have been, if you know all the crime, that's why I say to pray to God. Are, are the governors, have they got power over the, uh, the security of the area? They have brought the chief security of the state under this obnoxious Imposed constitution, which we are kind that should be changed. They have got power over the instrument of representation. If the, the governors have been autonomous and have been, have, have been fully equipped, have been fully empowered, they are only chief security officers of their state in name, not in action. They have no control over the police. They have no control over the instrument of uh, security. They have to refer to uh, Abuja. That complaint has been on. It is lack of that capability of federal government to take care of them that led the formation of this regional community of Aroteku, which they also render helpless without, by saying they can't carry arms. And they enjoying this. You can't do the job and go and have people who are in charge to do the job. Give them state police to, to take care of themselves. You now claim to be a better protector of a house, better than the owner of the house. We are, we are, we are in an abnormal country. Or we are being ruled by abnormal people. People can, who, don't know that, who, who refuse to understand our problem. Mm. And that's why I say, uh, people say we are just the president. Mr. President is not interested in, in this country. That is why I say you want to fulanize Nigeria and everything that is doing goes towards that. And I tell you, please listen. You say, I say you want to fulanize, I say no. Okay. He told us that the fulani people are, are, are armoring us are not local fulani. It, that was his word. But they come here, you can't arrest them. And they will see them. Uh, uh, Driving away the local Fulani and, and non Fulani from their land, putting their flag there. What are you doing? When they drive you away from your, your ancestral home and the department to protect you doesn't do anything, they do it in Niger, in Rasarawa, in Adamawa, in Bonu, in everywhere. You can't do anything. But even the local people are protesting your, 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 your armed forces. We will be alert, we will be effective, we will be killing us right, left, and center. God will save us from worry. I have no doubt about that. Mm -hmm. all, all right, Chief. I, I know that um, uh, b even before last week, the president had given an order, or uh, a, shoot a shoot at sight order against anybody carrying AK 47. That was uh, a couple of months ago. He gave that. My dear, my, my dear, my dear, that's part of the thing. I'm trying to kill a fly with a gun. Shoot a sight order. After what? You know many people have died? And shoot a sight is not right in a democracy. I said the man is not a democrat. But, but, but if the president directs... Oh, oh, if... no, mister, mister. When you put up this question, let people tell you their own side. Yes, I just want but to give you something to follow up with, uh, Chief. I, I'm asking if there are people carrying AK-47 and committing mayhem. You've described the situation in Makodi and um, in Bedouin State and other parts of the country. And the president decides and gives a directive and says, shoot at anybody that carries an AK-47 destroying people. Is that not the right action to take? No, that is that's not democratic. That, what is the, what is the, what, what is the, what is the, how do you avoid a, 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 somebody wants to kill the opposition? I am not safe under that law. That's my own view. Kill aside, a dead man doesn't talk. To me, it's an, it's an attempt where they trying to kill the iPod and good people. And we say, well, when they kill a member of the opposition or the children of the opposition, and they say, oh, they are carrying arms. 
Sandrine, who's the two? Who's the two? Who's the say No. Who's the two? Who's the argue? No. That is too much in a democracy. That's my point. You don't, you, you don't do that in a democracy. If you are effective, you catch them. This is in our own land. And then they are foreigners. Shoot aside. Shoot aside. By the time you shoot, who do you know whether the man is carrying AK-47 or not? Mm. And not those who are opposed to you. Mm. I All don't right. buy that. I don't buy it. All right, Pa Debanjo, what, what would you have, or what would you rather expect the government of the day to begin to do now if shoot on site order wouldn't work because it's undemocratic? What exactly should the government of the day be doing? Because the way the, the situation is going, it's escalating in, in a very alarming uh, you know, order. Thank you very much. If today he empowered the state governors to be the chief security of that state, it will stop. It will stop. And we have been saying that over the years. That's why is he hesitating to give them full power to control their state? Now, Pade Banjo, giving them full power will, will mean tinkering with the constitution, which the National Assembly is doing at the moment, isn't it? Yeah. My dear, you are now going back to what I said. Only God can save us from worry. No, because the, the, the president cannot oh just God. the president cannot just uh, empower uh, you know the governors to be chief security officers in their various states if it is not constitutional as well. That is why. That is why we say the constitution is a fraud. That is why we are claiming that the constitution should be scrapped. You people, you listen to those of us who are shouting, change the constitution. All the problems we are having is based on the constitution. It is this uh, obnoxious constitution that made Buhari the most powerful president in the whole world. Who listen? Well, then when he comes out and I say, no, I, I, if anybody does it, I kill him. That's what you listen. The root cause of the thing is the constitution. All these evil things that we are complaining of, yeah, you are now, you say, well, why, why doesn't the, the, the state governors do it? The state governors don't empower them under the constitution. Unlike the federal constitution, which we, which we had at independence. And then, my dear, we say, let us go back if you don't understand. And you see, they, you see, uh, I am at a loss to describe this government. Because they change the narrative. When we are saying this, what we want, they say, no, that's not it. We are talking of a constitution we agreed to. And we say clearly that this constitution, we don't know about it. It was the ministry that imposed it in 1966. You pretend as if you don't know. You, now, you are now asking me now that well, the constitution does not allow this. That is what we are saying. We didn't make this constitution. And you call us federal? Are we federal? This is a unit government. This is the cause of all the trouble. It is the constitution that makes you to feel that you can be so antagonistic to, our, to an ethnic group and, and, and behave in a way that they don't exist. It is this constitution that you make, which we say we don't want, which everybody now says change. And he said, no, I'm not going to change it. He is asking us to change the constitution we are saying is a fraud through the instrumentality of the National Assembly, which is a product of the fraud. Hmm. All right, Chief. You see the, you see the radicalism? No, no, it's all right, Chief. Let us explain to our people. Hmm. When they are giving all these propaganda things, they don't say it. We are no fools. We are all well educated. This country consists of lawyers, sons, professors. And you come and draw a wool across our eyes, mm. as you can see. All because you have all the architecture of power in your hand. All right. Uh, Chief. That is the rule of matter. Yes. We, we get your point. But the president has also said that it is not within him to change the constitution. That you have a national legislature whose responsibility is, is to tinker with the constitution or change the constitution as a case Maybe. And this national legislature, the National Assembly, has representatives from different parts 
of the country. Is the president deflecting or is he right in his position? Mr. Mr. Questioner, <laughs> listen to what I am saying. Which constitution is he referring us to? Don't, don't, if he's deceiving others, mm. he can't deceive me. And if he's deceiving himself, you don't let us let him deceive us. The constitution we say is not our own. The constitution we say is of no The constitution we say is no dead against the South. The constitution we say it contains all the iniquities we don't want. The constitution we say is not contained in the constitution as independence. And I made specific reference to the fact that if you don't know what is federalism, if you don't know what is functioning, go back to independent constitution agreed to by Sardana Osogoto, Dr. Nambia Zikwe, Chihuahua Bafema Wodawo, that independence. He has not replied to me. I challenge your attention on Nambia Zikwe to say this is what I ask you to go to. And I ask the question, why is he afraid to go back to that constitution? And I put the question again. Is he more full of need than Saudana? Is he, more, is he better educated than Saudana? And if there's any flaw in that constitution, why does he call us? Oh, no, I don't want this. Time has passed this one. Let us remove this. You now ask us to amend the constitution we don't know. You don't ask us to amend the constitution we had an independence. Mm. We are no fools. Please let us all join together to tell him that is not the question. It's just, it's just drawing wool against our eyes. We refuse to, and we can see. Those of us who knew the beginning of this country, we don't know what we worked for and what we had before the military caution. You can ask all the shenanigans of the, uh, of the Russian law. It's not acceptable to me and to people who know it. All right, Chief. My, my question earlier was, yes, you had submitted a proposal uh, uh, demands to the president. My, my question to you was, the president has said it's not his responsibility to change the constitution. It's a national assembly. Is the president right to make that, take that position? Is he correct? Very wrong. Very wrong. What the national assembly is referring to? Is this the national assembly we say no? You don't know about it? How did the national assembly come into? But, Padiban John... Padibanjo, writing an entirely new constitution uh, seems to Nigerians or to some people as a very long process. And we're looking at in the interim, is it not better <laughs> to, you know, uh, amend some of the flaws, the perceived flaws in, in the constitution which you're talking about? And then work with that first while we also uh, think of how to, you know, go about getting an entirely brand new constitution. What is wrong with getting a brand new constitution? The, the, the time it will take to get that done, the referendum that is required, and all of is that. Is it not by degree? Oh, no, no. Don't talk to people who don't know the issue. When you say, how is it done? The one that we are complaining about, how was it made? If you know we want peace, and we have told you, what, what is wrong? We say, well, let us have a dialogue. And let us agree on what to, and then, Pass an executive world. To ask us to go to the demanding of the constitution, you know that against anybody trying to amend it, it's not workable. We are not, we are, we are not fools. Hmm. We're asking us to go to the constitution. We say we don't know anything about. The constitution we say is loaded against the masses, against the section of the country. All right, Chief. Is that logical?